let's say I don't have enough money to pay you or pay any service out there. Mm -hmm. Can I fix my credit on my own, number one? Number two, are there form letters or templates available to people, you know, who just don't have it to go and download and maybe send off to Visa or MasterCard or whoever you've been late with? And if so, where would I find these form letters? Yep. So I always tell people, and we actually advocate, which is why we focus so much on education, is to fix your own credit. You know, we actually tell people, listen, if you could fix your own credit, we, we want you to do that. But on the other hand, I want to I want to cut my own hair and, 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 and I don't because I'll, I'll you know, I, I'll chip myself up. You know, I want to do my own tattoo, but I can't. You know, I want to mow my own grass, but my wife won't let me. So it's like there's a lot of things we can do on our own, Sean. Uh, fixing credit is actually one of those is actually a right as a consumer. We, like I said, we advocate for that. Um, but it, it, it depends on when I did it by myself, when I was in the military, when I got out, it took me like two, three years to fix it. And then once I started learning and learning the laws and learning, you know, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, the Truth in Lending Act, there's all these acts out there that protect us as consumers. And that's what I do day in and day out. And there's other, you know, as a credit repair company, that's what we do day in and day out. So it, yeah, you could do it. We just might do it a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we'll do it better because that would be lying if we say we're doing it better. It's just a little bit faster. And we just have a little bit more experience, a little bit more expertise, a couple more years of training, and, and that's it. And, and if people want to do it on their own, we are actually looking to do like a do-it-yourself kit down the road. We're actually going to launch that 2021. Um, but, I mean, if you just Google, go on Google and just, you know, uh, template letter, just remember, you're, there's thousands of people Googling, uh, downloading those letters. So the credit bureaus and the creditors are going to know that it's a template to so just make sure change the verbiage up a little bit. But like I said before, the best thing that can, you can do is your phone. If you have late payments, collections, things like that, just call you. It's going to take you time. You know what I mean? Call each creditor up, see what deal you can do. Call each collection agency up, see if they can do like a, a, an agreement where if you pay them, they delete it from your credit report, establish new credit and you'll be good. You, you know, you're still going to come out of pocket a little bit as far as with what you pay to settle, but then you don't got to pay a, a credit repair companies like me, uh, you know, as for the service, you know? Got you. Um, the, the, the three big ones, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, are they? Yes, sir. Yep. These guys don't, they work independent of one another, correct? Yes. So when fixing your credit, it is, you know, if I'm on the other side and I'm hiring a company like yourself, should I take for granted that you guys are working with all three of these agencies? Or is it my job to make sure that, you know, if I have something on TransUnion, but it's not on Equifax, that you guys go and address it with TransUnion? Correct. <laughs> yep. We actually address it with the person or the creditor um, that is supposed to be reporting it. So let's say if you have a Macy's credit card, it's in uh -huh. good standing, you've had it for three years, and for whatever reason, it's not an Equifax. It's on Experian TransUnion. What we would do is we would write a letter on your behalf to Macy's and say, hey, I've noticed that you're not reporting my account to Equifax. This is hurting my credit score because I'm not getting the positive payment history that I should be. So can you please update my credit report within 30 days to reflect this account being reported? We always say do that in writing because if you call somebody over the phone, there's really no, yeah, yeah there's phone calls or whatever, but it's always better to do that in writing. Um, that's, that's really a quick fix. That's, that's a quick fix to, uh, to call the, the creditor up. But you don't want to call the credit bureaus because if you call the credit bureaus or, or contact them, they're just going to revert you back to the person that's supposed to be reporting that information. And, okay, and so that's a great credit. point. That's a great point. Don't even waste your time with the credit bureaus. Nope. Go to the people who you're in default with, the actual companies. Yep. Well, if you're in default, so so is it is it an account that's in default or is it an account that is in good standing? Because that, that makes a lot that makes a big difference. If you're in default, you don't, you know, and it's only on two bureaus, you you know, you you you're good. You know, you don't want them to report it to the third one, you know, so it really just depends on if the account is negative or in good standing. Got you. Um, 
say I'm in the process of cleaning up my credit. How can I build good credit at the same time? And I ask this because people wonder, right? Like if, if I am now, you, let's say I hired you. You guys got some of my past um, infractions taken off my credit report. When should I go and start applying for new credit? Like, is there a time window I should wait for? If I start applying, does it hurt me and bring my score back down lower and, and really negate all of the work that you guys have done for me? Like, what, how can I build my credit while in the process of repairing it? So we, we allow or we advise clients to do it day one. So the reason why you want to do it day one is because if you go through our credit repair program six months and then, or any credit repair program for that matter, six to nine months, and then build credit at that point, you, you've wasted six to nine months of positive payment history that you could have had with getting some credit builder cards. So one of the accounts that we recommend, um, you ever heard of like Finger Hut? Of course. So there's two similar, we used to recommend Finger Hut, not anymore just because their limits are low and a lot of clients were complaining about their fees or whatever the case is. So there's a similar account to, to Finger Hut, which is called uh, My Jewelers Club and New Coast Direct. So, these, so My Jewelers Club and New Coast Direct. Uh, these are two accounts that are very similar to Finger Hut where we could only purchase products on their website. But the great thing is, Sean, is that they each give you $5,000 limit each. So now for $200 a pop, with, so for 400 bucks, you now can park and place $10,000 of credit on your credit report. Whereas Finger Hut might only give you like 350. A secure credit card, if you give them 200, they're just putting $200 on your credit report. So it's like the minute you use $150, now your credit score goes down because you're affecting that 30% utilization, right? So if you take the, the $400 and maybe one month spend 200 to get the My Jewelers Club, the next month get the new Coast Direct, now, yeah, you're out of, you're, you're, I wouldn't say you're out 400, you're investing 400. So that way now you have $10,000 in credit and credit card limits. We delete some negative stuff. Now, when you're going to apply for a regular credit card, like Capital One, American Express, Chase, you know, good credit cards, they're not going to give you a $300 limit. They're going to give you $4,000, $5,000, $8,000 because you've already demonstrated that you have low utilization with those two credit cards that we told you to get in the beginning of the credit repair process. You have low utilization. You have a less negative items, low inquiries. So now... It's, it's all about playing the game where it's like, all right, I have high credit limits. So now you're going to go to like a jewelry, a jewelry, a regular jewelry store or, or, or let's say Wayfair. You got to buy furniture, Home Depot. They're not going to give you a $300 limit. They're going to give you a high limit. So that's why we tell people to start in the beginning, because if you wait until the end and you have no credit and then you apply for a secure credit card or something else, they're only going to give you like 300, 350, 500 you know, that's not, you know, that's maybe like credit repair early 2000s. You know what I mean? But now there's a lot of companies out there that say, hey, you just got to give me a little bit more money and I'll give you a high limit that you could only use on my website. But I tell people don't max it out, leave the utilization low, use it one time, pay it off. And now you have $10,000 with zero balance and no negative items. That's such great information. Yeah. Um, it, it made me think of a couple of things. Number one, will these companies that you just referred, say my credit is 585. Mm -hmm. it, can I get it with not the greatest credit yep. um, score? Number one. And well, let's start there because I had a second question, but I want to hear the answer to that. Yes, you can. I, I always tell people as long as you have a pulse, you're fine. Like these credit card companies, the My Jewelers Club and New Coast Direct, they usually uh, require like a 500 credit score minimum. And I've never, it's very rare that I see under a 500. At that time, I wouldn't advise the client to apply yet. Mm -hmm. um, but usually as long as you have a 500 credit score, 
they'll approve, you know, they, they don't have like a thousand or two thousand. It's five thousand for everybody. So as long as you have a five hundred credit score, they'll you will be approved. Correct. Okay. And my second question to that was do other companies out there know the game? Are they are they looking and saying, oh, you just got credit with um and the, and the, 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 the two companies you named, the names escape me and I apologize. But mm-hmm. then, you know, say I go to somebody reputable now and like, like look, I got $10,000 in credit over here. I've only used maybe a thousand on each one of these cards. So I, I have very low debt. Will somebody reputable now take a chance on me? Or do they just look at it and be like, nah, we know the game. You went to them. They, they approve anybody who has a credit score above 500. So don't, don't come over here with that. Yep. Great, great, great question. I get that. I get that question a lot. Um, and it's a great question because they're not going to care. And the reason why they're not going to care is when they run your credit or when you apply with like American Express or Chase or somebody else, it's all online. It's automated. Nobody's really looking at your credit report. They're just caring about your credit score and what other factors that are affecting your credit score by the data that's being reported. So if you apply for American Express and you have a 720 credit score because you had the two $5,000 accounts and it's my jewelers club and new Coast direct, they're not going to care that it's those two accounts. They're just going to be more worried about that. You have low utilization and positive payment history and a seven plus credit score. Um, And that's where you want to be. That's the great thing about these cards and why we stopped recommending finger hut because they're going to give you 10 grand between both cards and that's going to put you in a whole nother bracket to be able to get approved for other cards. So in a sense, you're using these as a tool to, to get what else you got to get next. But the great thing is Sean is they don't really look at it and say, Oh, these are my jewelers club. Nah, we're not going to approve you. This is, these, these are credit builder cards. They don't look at it that way, which is great. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.